All right, guys, uh, welcome back. So in this one, I'm just going to now show you uh, before we move on towards what the uh, towards the the programming side, I'm just going to show you uh, what I was saying that once we know the 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 shell, uh, it is how easy it is to 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 manipulate. You know uh, the uh, the to manipulate or manage the uh, the AWS or any uh, cloud based services if we have the interface available. So what I'm going to do now, let me just you know. Bring the history back. Uh, so what history does actually, hit, history is more like, you know, uh, a command. Whatever commands you have typed in the past, if you want to see all those commands, you can just type the history and history is gonna bring all those commands back into, into, uh, into your screen. Now, let me first show you uh, the AWS structure. Let me go back to my home directory, ls, ls minus a. And by the way, you can do the ls uh, main page for ls, and it will show you all the all the switches which are uh, available as part of the ls. So you can see ls is used for uh, list directory minus a for all, and we have the uh, you know uh, all these switches we can use to to display our directory right minus t for directory uh, minus f do not sort. There are a bunch of combination that we can use. Really depends upon the 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 requirement. All right. So like I mentioned in the previous video, if you remember, we have a folder as soon as we configured the AWS CLI and CLI means command line interface. As soon as we configured this CLI, we're going to have a folder called .aws. And what does this folder contain? Let me just go inside that folder and then I'll show it to you. So now I'm in .aws folder. It has two, two uh, uh, files. One is called config and the other one is called credential. Let's see uh, both files one by one. So if I just, you know, do cat of config, no file. So you can see it is keeping the 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 default uh, 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 value, which, which obviously referring to the to the default region. And then obviously we can even profile. So for example, if we have multiple accounts in my Azure envi uh, AWS environment, uh, and I want to use these account by uh, by uh, profiling them. So I uh, want to use one particular task under one account, the other task under second account, which is a very common phenomena because once we are building a solution, we have different users that have different permission and we want to execute those tasks using those uh, users account so we can test and and validate the the functionality right uh, in uh, while we are working in in the in the dev and test before we hand over to infrastructure to release it right so you can see we can define this profile uh, in a very simple way uh, by default uh, everything if we don't mention any profile it's going to actually come under the default uh, 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 default section but if we have anything that we want to mention as a profile uh, so for example you can see uh, I, in the my, in the profile uh, i can change the default region so maybe my default region is us east 1 but i want to change the admin region to us east 2 Right, so there are a bunch of requirements where we these profiles are very helpful. Now, coming back to the to the uh, the next uh, uh, profile, which is obviously credential, and it is it has some sensitive information. So that's why I'm just gonna actually uh, show you, and then uh, you know what I'll do. I'll just quickly uh, close it. What, what I can do, I just can do nano, nano credential. So you can see it has my access key and it has my secret key. So let me just close it. Uh, and by the way, while you're gonna see that, I'm gonna delete the keys and regenerate the keys. So access key and the secret key are two keys that we normally use to 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 gain access to 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 my account. Uh, 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 if I want to use my account to do any kind of you know. Uh, 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 scripting work uh, through through command line or if we want to uh, write any command that can uh, interact with with azure uh, oh, sorry aws and keep uh, saying azure because my mind is uh, at the moment switching between azure and A aws but yeah if we want to access uh, uh, aws we need these two two keys uh, one is secret key and the other one is is uh, 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 
is the access key. And based on these two keys, I'm able to access any resource within my AWS environment. Uh, the thing is, these keys will actually evaluate to define your username while uh, uh, it's going to access any resource. And once your username has been identified, uh, it's going to actually uh, evaluate the permission your user uh, uh, is going to have. Now, if I just quickly go back and show it to you in here, okay, I'm. So let me quickly sign into my console. Uh, I'm going to log in as my root account, which is ob obviously not a good practice, but I think I can. And now I have already configured the MFA code. What is MFA code? I'm going to tell you in the in the upcoming video. But that is for for the security reason. You need to download an app on your mobile, and then you have the the. Uh, uh, the security token that comes on your mobile and you just need to key in that security token. And once you enter it correctly, it's gonna let you log in. Now coming back to, to my user area, let me go back to IAM. By the way, the, the interface is beautiful uh, with, the, with the new uh, new version of, 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 the, of the Azure's uh, console uh, service. Uh, sorry console uh, environment you can see i have one user and i have one user group so let me just go inside to my one user by the way we shouldn't use our root account to log in it's just more like because it's a dev environment so i'm just uh, uh, using it but you don't need to right you can you can uh, uh, you always uh, use the the uh, the uh, uh, normal account to log in right and you just keep your uh, root account secure and safe with with the keys now you can see that's the same user that uh, we have and I'm just going to, it has, it's part of the super user group because it has all the permission which are needed to, to do any kind of work within, within the AWS environment. The thing I want to show it to you, it has the, the, the keys. So you can see uh, these keys are sitting in here. You can delete it, you can mark it and uh, make it them inactive and then you can regenerate these keys, right? It really depends upon, upon the, the, the requirement. So that, that's what we have seen in, in, in in here uh, in the credential file so that that that's the uh, that's that's the uh, that's what we are keeping in the in the uh, credential file so now what i'm going to show you uh, as part of you know uh, as part of the this exercise as a last uh, uh, as a last command i'm just going to do aws and i'm going to do yes so file. Uh, the only thing while you are executing your AWS command, the 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 starting uh, keyword is AWS, and then if you want, to, uh, if you don't provide the profile name, it will run against their default. If you provide the profile name, it use that profile to to you know to pass your authentication, and based on that authentication or that authorization. It will evaluate whether you have the authorization to execute or whatever you are asking is permittable or not. If it is permittable, it's going to actually return you the result. Otherwise, you're going to see the error because you don't have enough permissions. So I'm going to use admin profile and I'm going to do S3, which is obviously the the uh, the uh, the uh, the storage or or the buckets uh, that we can create. It's more like the 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 data lake concept within AWS. And I'm going to do the list. So let's see. So now you can see I am able to see all the the uh, the buckets that I have created in my AWS environment. So, so they are displaying, and you can see uh, internally AWS is utilizing the the shell command. So that that's a very very powerful concept. Now you can see if you understand LS, you can re immediately understand. Okay, that that's the command S3 uh, they have uh, uh, created uh, as part of the you know. Uh, list down the 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 buckets uh, uh, as part of S3, right? So just verifying the result. If I come in in here, although this is the root account, I shouldn't use this account uh, to to list down. But just want to show you, so you can see the similar information in 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 here, which you are seeing on on the prompt. So let me just put it side by side, so you can see we have four buckets. 
I'm not going to uh, in the detail of the bucket because that's a separate lesson. So that that's how we can use the the AWS uh, through the command shell. And you can see I've already start you know merging these two concepts together. One side we are looking at the scripting, another side I'm looking at the Amazon CLI. So hopefully that will help you to understand the the the, the scripting and and the command line interface for for cloud environment. And trust me, uh, it's going to be very easy once you understand and you know the the learning curve from one cloud environment to another is very easy like you're not you don't need to learn a lot to transfer your knowledge from one cloud environment to an other cloud environment because internal concepts uh, are are almost similar so uh, if you have any questions please post into the comment more than happy to answer otherwise i'm gonna see you in the next video with more bash uh, commands and and the and the tool set thanks for watching